Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Cancer. Hey Cancer! <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over, well, the cards that are over here. But I was just looking at your energy. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys, okay? This is going to be more of a relaxed read. The other ones were like so serious. I'm like, oh my goodness. Anyway, I feel like you guys have a lot of feelings. I am... I'm being taken back to something where you guys are trying to birth something new. There's something about something new. Something that you guys are birthing. Maybe some of you guys have a child coming. Maybe you guys are birthing a project. It's something about you guys reacting. There's something about being nocturnal. <clears throat> Maybe some of you guys are up at night or something like that. Your mood might be a little bit different, right? It might have switched up a little bit, but you guys are being receptive to some information that's being given to you. There's also a big focus on family, right? But I also see there's something where you are being defensive. Like I'm in my glory, but I'm being defensive. I'm being cautious. I'm not being, I don't know, outright or out loud. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so that's the energy that I'm getting for you guys so far. All right, I'll leave that there. I really do need this here so I know who I'm reading for. But yeah, I want you to be able to see that. All right. So yeah, Cancer, let's see what else is going on. Like I said, this read is a little bit different. We'll just pull a little of everything versus being so serious. Oh my goodness. Let's see what you guys got going on. What's going on for Cancer, please? What's going on for Cancer? I don't, I've not used these cards on screen. I don't think ever. And if I did, it might have been one card. I don't ever remember it anyway. So much life in you. You guys have a lot of life in you. There's so many new things that are coming up for you, right? Maybe you guys have a lot of things going on right now, but it's a lot. But it feels like it's not a bad a lot. It feels like it's something that's expanding, it's growing, right? So, so much life in you. Maybe you guys are feeling a little bit down about something. You guys have a long way to go. Let's put it that way, right? So you have a long way to go. Hold on, so much life in you. Why do I feel like for some of you guys, your mood did change a little bit though, right? All right, let's see. Transmutation. I feel like you guys are taking whatever energy, whether happy, sad, whatever, whatever energy that you're transmuting, I feel like you're building something with it. You guys are taking some kind of frustration or some concern or there's something that you're doing. You are taking the energy and you're putting it into something that grows, expanding something. Uh, for some of you, you could be bringing light to something, whatever that's about. Give me one more, please, for cancer. One more for cancer, please. All right. Sacred center. I feel like you guys are trying to get centered in something, trying to find balance. I feel like you guys are. This all says balance to me. You guys are trying to find some balance. I think because it says you're very concerned about things that are at home right now family oriented but yet defensive i think you guys are keeping the nonsense out right so letting the good stuff in keeping the nonsense out i feel like there's balance here for cancer that's awesome all right so we see that i want these i don't want there's been so much drama in these reads i'm sure nonsense is going to come out it always does but do we have to right <laughs> you guys are there's something with opposition it's, it keeps coming up for you even when i tried to pull the cards before it was something with opposition it just keeps coming up all right, so I think you guys are balancing opposition. It came up reversed. It might be a challenge for you, but I feel like you are you're balanced, even in the middle of some challenge. Let's see what's going on. More for cancer. Uh, we have the rooster. Now, the rooster did come out reversed here. There's something you're not enthusiastic about. I believe there's something with positivity. There's something that you don't think is funny. There's something that is impotent. There's something about sexuality, talkativeness, egotism. I feel like you guys are balancing this out. I feel like you guys are seeing the good and bad side of everything. Or this is somebody else. It did come out with her. Somebody who's not enthusiastic. Talkativeness. Maybe they talk about nonsense. Somebody could be operating in their ego. It, you could be working on coming out of this. Or this is somebody in your energy who you're trying to release. Somebody who's an ego. Trying to get rid of that person out of your energy. The rooster. Give me more, please. Okay, we also have Panther. I'm not going to pull too many more of these, but regeneration, the shadow side, intensity, sense of adventure, enlightenment, truth, stealth, silence, originality. This card did come out reversed. Maybe again, that's something that maybe you're working on, or maybe this is what you think about somebody. Regeneration, shadow side. Yeah, I feel like this is your energy with this card. I don't know why. 
I feel like you guys are being very sentimental right now, too. So you're probably looking at pictures, memories from the past, sentimental. Yep, receptive. You guys are receptive, but you're very careful about what you open up to, what you accept. I get that. And I'm not pulling. These cards are so heavy. I'm not pulling another one. I'm going to pull love, and then I'll pull a couple of tarot cards. And I mean, basically what I'm doing, right? <laughs> it's trying to find a nice way to say stuff it's about how I interpret it alright so hmm. show me cancer please what's going on with cancer and love alright there's something about letting go of control issues let's see let go of I feel like you guys are still holding on to something something that you want to control a lot of situation to unfold naturally you will not cancer you got your hands still in it for whatever reasons I'm not judging you but there's some reason why you feel like you want to hold on to something where you should let it play out naturally without manipulation. Hopefully you, I don't know. Anyway, give me one more, please. Show me cancer and love, cancer and love. Trust. There's somebody or some situation that you don't trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You guys don't have any faith in some situation. This situation regarding love. Also, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It did come out upright for you guys. You still want to hold on to something, though, and you don't trust the situation. Give your relationship a chance. What's the final card for cancer? For love, please. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Maybe some of you guys are reaching out to friends for answers about something. You want to be really careful who you reach out to people. Like, who, who? Because, boy, let me tell you, people, something else. So, all right, let's see. Let me get into these. All right, tell me more. What do I need to know? What does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know about any of this? It'll show me where to go. So much in life for you. I feel like some of you guys stopped doing something for a little while, but it was necessary. Some of you guys had to give up doing something that you like, use your energy elsewhere. You transmuted into balance, which is awesome. All right. I still feel like you guys have some feelings down here with this rooster and with the panther. I can go so many places with those two cards. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. We have temperance. Some of you guys are trying to take your time doing something. <clears throat> Cancer, this is you. It says that you're taking your time, making a decision about doing something. Balance. That's what this whole route is about. You guys are finding some kind of balance. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a routine of meditation or there's something that you do to relax yourselves. Self-control, very controlled at this time. Harmony, patience. Give me more, please. What else does cancer need to know? I guess this is something where you guys should stay balanced, continue to remain balanced. That's what it looks like. All right, so there's something with finances here, patience in your hard work. Some of you guys are waiting for something to be successful. I'm waiting for success. I'm working at it. I'm still waiting for success. You don't want to give up too soon on that. And if you want something to work, you have to engage in it. All right. What was this? I'm looking to see what this one is. Let me ask my question. Oh, uh, what doesn't cancer trust? What are they not trusting? There's something that you guys are working on. You're trying to have, you have balance and waiting for something to work, like a return on investment. You're waiting for something to work. I don't think you have that much faith in it. I mean, it goes right between let go of control issues. And I feel like for some of you, you feel like if you let go, if I back off, then it fails. Something like that. So you're trying to control something. Okay. I feel like you guys are coming out of some sort of anxiety too. Something about anxiety, recovering from something, healing from something. There was something about, I don't know, something about treatment. I don't know if you guys are... Coming out of something. I feel like you're getting over, recovering emotionally from something. Nine of Swords is you having some kind of depression, nightmares, or something like that. I feel like you guys have some bad feelings about a relationship, but also some sort of an investment, something that you're working on. You feel like if you take your hands off of it, then what happens? <sighs> I don't know. You keep thinking that. Hold on. Okay, some of you guys, this has to do with you losing finances. You have the Five of Pentacles. It does come out reversed. So at some point, maybe you guys weren't making the finances or the money that you wanted to make, 
but this is about a new job. It's about something having to do with a home. Hope does return to you, but it also talks about you guys could have been struggling, but recovery and recovering financially from something. Some of you guys are recovering financially from something. All right, so your finances are going to recover as long as you keep working towards something, but you have to let the anxiety go. The anxiety is keeping you up all night. That's why you're so involved in this situation. So you have that, then you have something with a partner that you don't trust. It's some love situation that you don't trust. You want to give it a chance, but you're reaching out to your friends for support. I don't know, but there's also two people over there. These people... Or this could be your energy, the rooster and the panther. I don't know if those are the two folks. Something with them two people. Oh. Else? I feel like you guys are going to send some messages. To, oh, boy. Y'all are going to send messages to somebody. Something with messages. About an injustice. Something about an injustice. There's going to be a message sent about an injustice that's going to clear something up. You have the Knight of Pentacles that comes up. So this is somebody, the message is going to be about somebody who was unreliable. You know, somebody who probably, I don't know, they probably sleep on somebody's couch. But this person is unreliable. They probably don't work. This card is reversed. The Knight of Pentacles will be somebody who works hard. This person doesn't, they don't want to work. You guys are going to get a message, a quick message. I don't know if it's going to be a text. It's something that's going to come in about an injustice by a Knight of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The message could come from an Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be about a Libra or it could be from a Libra or something like that. These are the signs in here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? I feel like somebody made a bad decision about something. Somebody went past their boundaries. Something about boundaries. I don't know if you went past your boundaries or somebody else did. Something about somebody's going to quit something. Whatever that's about. Separate story. See, told you this reads a little bit different. It's not as like, and it's only 12 minutes too. Hey, jeez. Oh, All right, let me see something. Let me get a message for you and then I will send you on your way. Cancer. Mm. Wait, I did I call those off? Yeah, I did. Give me a message for cancer. You have people near you who are not true. Mm, it's funny because it says that in this message too. Happiness from an unexpected source. You guys are going to find happiness in a place that you're like, wait a minute. Really? Down at the junkyard I found you? Oh my goodness. Like that. Okay, also, let's see. A woman is coming between you and your beloved. Ooh, yeah. There's a woman coming in between you and your beloved. So this woman doesn't have to be like, it could be, it could obviously, it could be a mistress or what do you call a guy who's a mistress? I don't know, some jump off dude. I, I wait, does a guy have a side? Side guy. <laughs> It might be, I don't know. It could be that or it could be any like mother figure. It could be somebody just who's into somebody, a friend who's, you know, they just got some stuff for them. And every single time you turn around, they always got problems. It comes in between something like that. Success in business enterprises through hard work. So you guys are being advised that you have to keep up the hard work. I know you have to deal with some stuff, but it's really good that you're keeping some of the crap out and letting the stuff in that needs to come in. I like that. And the way you're using your energy creates balance. But it does say that you guys have these two people. Like I was telling you, them two. Something's up. There's somebody in a relationship you don't trust and you're like, I don't know if I want to give this a chance. Give your relationship a chance. Maybe you guys have a relationship that you're questioning, but there's also something career-wise that you're questioning. Something about an investment for some of you guys. I don't know. Something with an investment. Something new that you started. But this is also about recovering finances that could have been lost. Yeah, you're going to recover some finances. I'll give you one more. One more. Oh, okay. Always doing for others without reward. Some of you guys are always doing things for other people. And there's no reward. I don't think that's why you guys do it. You know, in some cases, listen, everybody's different. All right, you got some good ones, you got some bad ones. Your wisdom will be more appreciated later. 
They're going to listen to you later on. Mm. You have very good friends. The friends that are friends to you, Cancer, they're dedicated, loyal friends. Is there anything else? You're very good friends. No. Oh, also, there's a false friend. Beware. There's some shady person that shows up. Maybe that's the other one over there. So look at your friends group again. Anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys. Wait, where? Oh, he's in this one. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I love you guys. I see you. I know this one was like, you know me now. Listen, I, I feel it. I'll be like, let me get some drop. Like, hey, let me. This one was nice and light. It's all lovey dovey. Look, got decorations and stuff. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.